check this out. It's raining. And you're fogging up. You're fogging up. Good morning, another morning from the Wampa Bump. Boat racing today, boat racing day. It's raining, still warm, still warm, but no droning today. No droning at the boat race. Drones don't work in the rain, they don't. Look at this. I've got the whole place to myself. Mm -hmm. uh, some muesli, yogurt, fruit, sausages, pikelets. Okay, <laughs> we've got some bread. I'll order some bacon. I'll be set. Girls have already been up. They've already been been out the front, giving arms with umbrellas in the rain. I got my beauty sleep. A few ceremonies to date apparently. And the boat races and get back to Bientian. Catch the train back home later this afternoon. <laughs> Already got our tickets. It's still a hassle getting tickets. It is, yep. Yeah. You've got to line up days in advance and just pray that you, you're lucky enough to get a ticket. It, it, it is ridiculous. It really is. Uh, fortunately, Kat organised the tickets and I think she got somebody else to, to go in and either stand in line or I don't know. I, I wasn't going there. I'm not going to catch that bloody train until they do get this shit quite sorted. You know, it, it really is a joke. And I got a, my personal opinion, I don't think they're in any rush to get the system online because you're cutting out those middlemen then that enjoy their cut. There, I've said it. Yeah. Yeah, because what is the problem with putting your own name on them? buying them online with your name on the ticket like you do on uh, buying air fares, air tickets, flights. There's none. There's none. You're cutting out the scalpers, aren't you? Our ride is here. The brain hasn't gone anywhere. Got shotgun. We're getting out here as the road along the Nam Khan is restricted to just uh, pedestrians today. And as you see, the road is still falling. Oh, no, I'm still trying to get my bearings whereabouts on this river we are. We've got a table right on the edge overlooking. Probably about 200 metres short of the finish line. You can see all the way up to the start. How beautiful does it look down there with these uh, slow boats on it. Very rarely see the slow boats on this 
They should permanently make it a walking street. It's only early. It's only early. It's just after nine, guys. Probably about nine thirty. The big races don't start till around lunchtime or so. These are just the preliminaries. There's, there's some <laughs> there's some crew on those boats, isn't there? All these boats are made from one tree, just carved out. Just a single trunk. I think there's around 40 people to each boat. Oh, that's the terrace. We are in here somewhere. And we do have a we do have shelter. We did. We did. You see straight up to the start line. And uh, these flags here isn't the actual finish line, it's where they know to really hook into it. And down here that yellow crew down there, that is the, the flags of the finish line there. If we walk down this way, see what's about, see what they're doing down at this finish line. Apparently the Prime Minister's coming here today. Put on a show to show how a boat race is supposed to be run. They do take their festival seriously up here at the the Bar. Best place for the boat races. Best. Hey, how you doing, dude? <laughs> Definitely best place for Be My Lao. There's others, there's more than two, there's more, but when they're doing a festival, Luan Prabang is usually the place to be at. Uh, as I said, it's only early morning. They haven't even started racing, so this place will be packed later. And you just got these um, canopies all the way down along here. It's a shame we couldn't get closer to the finish line, hey? Is the hammer and tongs line the hook into it boys line as you can see they're down here being ceremonied hello <laughs> what a poo fart face that was <laughs> ceremonies are down there opening the show now we'll go for a walk there too we can catch some of it i do think that's the national anthem I could be wrong. I'm just having a stab in the dark there. Hey I thought she was offering me that umbrella then. It is drizzling, but that's nothing in this climate here. It's actually welcome. Probably a good thing getting down here and checking it out now before these crowds come. <laughs> Some beautiful homes and our guest houses up around this. We're right on coming towards the point of the peninsula. Nam Khan here cuts around the bend where these palm trees are, joins onto the Mekong. Right, we're not going to be able to get through to this pavilion here. See so if we can get a look. Or are we? 
We'll have a look down here first. See how close we can get to those boats, eh? Oh, no. Lot of them heading back up to the start line now. Okay, where all the dignitaries are, all the VIPs and special important people up in there. This is the spot down here, ain't it? What they're doing is introducing each village now. They're taking off as they do. Black ones look like a boat full of witchy poos from HR Puff and stuff. Okay. The fluoro boys are making a late start up to the starting line. Big size difference in boats, isn't it? Between the white and black starting procession and the actual racing boats. Now we're going to have a fight here in a minute. We've got three different villages. picked up pace now as soon as they go under that hook into a boys line I'll have one of those tasty things whatever they are Little spring roll, not the spring rolls we're used to. Yeah, you're right. But they are good. Rice, lettuce, salad. Tasty thick goodness in there. Got a fur one. They're only just going through the motions of the races at the moment. No real excitement. It will build up. It will. Okay. Best thing about giving a table off these guys. Burasari Cafe. We have a closed toilet. This is an easy one for the green team, ain't it? Okay, so you're kicking butt. Yeah. Some of these guys on the green have stopped to, to make it a fair race, I think. Hello. We've got the witchy poos down here. 
This guy's down in the water here, towing the slow boat into shore. They won't let me leave without having another beer. Thanks, Dewey. Hey, cheers, Nong. This is our driver, Nong. Okay then, we are going to walk, we are. Might take this with me. Thinking I had to finish it before I could go anywhere, but no, we're not in Australia, are we? We're here, Umbrella near took me eyeball out. Hey, don't do it. Hey, you see ya. Lots of good stuff down here. Oh, we got there just some frankfurts. Cool, fries. Oh, that smell good along here. Indeed. Hello. Oh, yeah, uh, cocktail. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you, cupcake. <Cup> <laughs> What a cocktail would be. It's not good. I've been mixing. The cocktail is good. It is all happening down here, isn't it? KFC. Steam fish. I'll have one of these. Thank you very much, Cupcake. Just what I needed. Right, oh, no, I'm set. Got my own little tent here. Right on the banks. Straight up there. I don't know why they built these retaining walls out of uh, chicken wire. They make good stubby holders. Looks like these white ones are laying over there eating snacks and goodies and things. These black ones have been hooking into the beer lair. Good and evil. Just checking this boat out here too. Little sleeping quarters at the back there. Got the dining room there. They've come in across from the other side of the river, just parked it there with their beer and food. That's where they're staying for the day. Oh, here we go. Crept up on us, didn't they? This is a close one. With the guys up the front pumping it. Here you go. 
cow. I think the white ones have got it. White and yellow. Okay, back to the party. All these guys are interested in is having a beer now, I think. What are they throwing them? Cookies and things. The rain's gradually getting heavier too. Can you hear Nina out there? Come on guys. They're into it well before that hammer and tongs line, aren't they? The guys stand on the back only go at half the pace. You notice that? Where the guy's sitting down, they're doing double time. Who are they? They should have a little earpiece piece so they can let me know who's racing. Come on guys. Don't care who you are, just come on. Yeah, these guys in yellow, they're just taking it easy, aren't they? There's a dramatic difference in speed for the size of your boat. The big ones are just cruising. The little ones are struggling. I've noticed that. These yellow guys, they're on a bloody holiday. Mate. <laughs> They're just out for shits and giggles, those guys. As you can see, the crowd's starting to get in now. About 12 midday. We've got them coming in from all angles. Alright, uh, let's head back up here where we've seen the chips. We're going to get some chips. That's fries for you people in the US. Can't remember where I've seen them now. All the other farangs have probably bought them all up. Here we go. One of those. Saturday. Up on. Up on. It's about 30 US cents. Come, Jada. Thank you. Granted, there's not many, but 50 Aussie cents. At a festival in Australia, you'd probably pay six bucks for something like this. <laughs> Todd's tip of the day. Check the sauce before you go squirting it on. I did. It's bloody chilli sauce. Um, not old Tommy tomato sauce. Grudge match happening now, guys. Sayaburi and Bianchian. Our main.
home town against Avery. Avery in the blue, Genshin in the green. Genshin's a nose in front. The blue one's really pumping it though. Genshin? Genshin? Genshin won. <laughs> Ollie! <laughs> hey man. How you nice doing dude? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How'd you spot us? Say what? How did you spot us? Oh, you said we're a series, so I knew the place. Yeah, hi, hi. Okay. I just wanted to stop by before I get too hammered and say hi. So. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smart move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a fantastic spot here. Yeah, yeah a bit, a bit. Bit of a distance from the the yeah, finish but line, but we can't see the the end exactly either. So when it's uh, close, it's a little some bloody people here now, dude. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we were here, we came in about five days ago, yeah. and uh, I mean the place was dead. You know, they were practicing, but it was yeah. nothing here. The other side, just nothing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Okay. Well, anyway, great you're doing man. a great, great thing. Man. Thanks, Seriously. man. Peter, subscriber. So <laughs> baby. Baby. Yeah. 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 All righty then. We have called it. We have to make a bowl. We've got to catch this train back to Saab. Races are still on. There's only a couple to go, but uh, I've got a feeling the more the day goes on, the slower the races get. The guys are getting tired. They've got to be. I've seen this earlier. This setup, they've even got an air conditioner there. Locking buggers. Aircon. Okay, we're up here. This is where we leave it. That's a Citroen. I know that. I'm walking the wrong way too. Wow. This place is just about gridlocked. We're on coming down to the Mekong now. While well, we're at it, while we're at it, that fellow I was just chatting to, Peter. He's um, living here at the moment with his wife on this part of Luang Prabang, the finger, for about 40 Aussie dollars a night just uh, in a guest house. But he's moving to um, a place he's renting right on this peninsula, the fingertip, just up this way, in the nice historic part of Luang Prabang. You're wondering how much it's costing. It's about 400 a month. Which really shocked me. I thought it would cost a lot more to stay in this part of um, the Wang Kaban. As you can see, how beautiful it is. 400 a month. There you go, guys. Just a bit of a um, small bit of info. You may be wondering, thinking, damn, Todd, what a beautiful place. How much is it to live there? There you go, he's renting. 400 a month. Can't tell you if that's Aussie or US, I don't know. That's why I never said it. There you go. Shotgun's reserved for me, thank you. He gave me the guest house price in Aussie dollars, 40. So I'm assuming it's 400 Aussie dollars. Don't know, you'll probably let us know in the comments.